everyone, and welcome to a new movie review. Now we will be discussing the technical reboot or re-storytelling of Clive Barker's Hellraiser that's made it into uh, a new theatrical version that's located on Hulu. So sit back, relax, beware of those Cenobites. Let's do a review. Hello there, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and children. Right off the bat, if you don't know already, this film, as well as the other previous Hellraiser films, were actually based on Clive Barker's book, um, Hellbound Heart. Now, of course, the book came out in 1986. The first movie came out in 1987, both directed as well as written by Clive Barker. Now, if you haven't seen the first one, that, that's fine, because this version of it is very much well done in the sense of made for the new audience today. If you aren't aware, the old Hellraiser, that was a male where the new Hellraiser pinhead priest is actually played by a female this time. The director is, of course, David Bruckner, who's done most recent movie, The Night House, uh, The Re Ritual, which is, can be found on Netflix, uh, VHS, which is also kind of like a um, independent film or film that came out. The writer is David Goyer, who has done, well, one of the writers is David Goyer, who has done Batman Begins as well as The Dark Knight. It has, does star Odessa Azion, uh, Jamie Clayton, um, Adam Fakin, Drew... Stortley, A. Hines, and then of course Brandon Flynn, if you know him, he is actually plays Justin in 13 Reasons Why. Now this film does very well in paying tribute to the older films. Though it is a re-storytelling, yes, it still holds true to the horror elements. The actual clothing for the Cenobites is different, where the older ones is more like a leather, more of dominatrix style, where this one is very much of a flesh and torn flesh as well. So it definitely plays tribute to that horror tropes. Now when it comes to the gore, you don't really get a lot of the gore until later on and close to, and actually the very end. Um, of course, back in 1980s, they didn't really have the CGI and technology as they do today, so it was a little bit more than what I was expecting, but that's what you get from a Hellraiser film. Now, do I recommend watching it? If you love those types of movies, yes, absolutely. Cinematography was done very well. As far as storytelling goes, it was actually paced out quite well in terms of not really seeing the Cenobites until closer to the end. You don't really get a full introduction to the priest or pinhead until closer to the very end. And what I mean by that is more of the third act, really. And it does, again, pay tribute to the old one at the same time, as well as does justice to a well-done reboot. Because again, it's not a remake. It's not retelling the original story. This can actually fit in the older versions. X minus, of course, the individual who's playing Hellraiser themselves or Pinhead themselves. But regardless, I would definitely recommend it, especially if you're a Hellraiser fan. And if you have seen it, let us know in the comments.